there is 100% an animal nearby right now. Like these are very, very fresh. The last time I was here, I tried to start my fire with Coffee Mate and it did not work whatsoever. And a lot of people who watch this channel said, corn chips light. I've got my base here. There she is. That guy is definitely lit. Pretty cold in here, I have to say, and I'm looking forward to this stove really starting to kick in. I think I'm going to take off my layers though, because this stove will kick in pretty fast. Already I can feel a bit of heat coming from it. So I'll take off these layers, which of course are keeping me insulated right now from the cold. But as the heat from the stove starts to pick up, my parka will insulate me from that heat as well. So. If I take off the parka, put on my sweater, it will allow for the heat to actually touch my skin and get into my bones. So that's one of the first things I do when I go into a warm place. If it's winter and it's freezing out, I layer down as quickly as I can, comfortably. And um, I find you just, you know your body regulates a nice temperature if you do that. You warm up faster. By the way, this right here is a muskrat hat, and it's decent, it's a decent hat. Um, and it's frosting up a bit here, you can see there's some frost here as well. And, and this is the kind of hat that you would see a Mountie wear, uh, an RCMP officer, Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer wear in the winter. 
Um, and they're pretty decent. Now, if I had a full head of hair, then this would probably suffice for me throughout the winter because you've got that really nice soft muskrat fur and you've got this like felt material and you've got a liner. So it is thicker and warmer than your average toque. But for me, because of this, I like leather. And right now my leather um, hat like this, it's a coyote fur hat. Uh, it's a crown crown hat and I wear it all the time in my videos. I've been wearing it for years. I've had that hat for 15 years. Um, it's really seen better days. The fur is really starting to get destroyed on it. So I'm having a new one made by a friend of mine here in town. She's using my old leather coyote hat for reference to make me the new hat, which is going to be sheared beaver all the way on the inside and sheared beaver all the way up here and on the flaps, the really thick black leather on the outside. I'm very excited about that. It's going to be the warmest hat I've ever owned by far. So uh, yeah, so tonight, if, you, if you're wondering about my hat, it is a muskrat hat. The wind will penetrate this. The wind will get through. I can feel it. Even tonight driving in here, it's only minus 25 Celsius and I could feel it coming in through the hat. So the leather, you can't beat the leather for sure. I've had these snow pits for a long time, maybe a dozen years, longer than that, since 2010. And uh, the thing is, they're Canadian made, they're called Choco, it's a Choco brand. And I just love that you can zipper all the way up and down the leg. So you can take them off and put them on with giant boots, which is what I'm wearing. Just like that. Really convenient. And uh, if you're ever in the market for snow pants, I call them snow pants, that's what we called them growing up. Try to get the ones where you can zipper all the way up the side of the leg and all the way down. It's a huge advantage, uh, makes life a lot easier when you're out in the cold. There is 100% an animal nearby right now. These tracks are super fresh. I don't remember seeing them when I showed up here just uh, about an hour or so ago. Look at this. These are like really, really, really fresh. This is crazy fresh. The snowflakes or snow grains or whatever you call them are just bouncing there. There's no wind that's been at these. There's no fresh snow that's landed on these. I believe these are this evening. And I noticed over here as well, bigger animal. Like these are very, very fresh. And this is pretty firm here. So this animal, whatever it is, and it's much bigger than the other one, I'm pretty sure it's, it's a fox or a coyote, is around somewhere. Uh, very recently, uh, I'm thinking this evening. Look at this, wow. And that's hard, so whatever the animal is, he's not, he's gotta be pretty big. He sinks down there, you can see. And there's tracks out there as well. So there's an animal that's hanging out around here, 100%. And I don't know if he's active when I show up, or if it smells me or hears me coming and just makes a run for it. There's some big tracks. I think these tracks right here, this old remnants, that could be wolf to be honest, but those are really old. But this is something else, man. Look, whatever that animal is, it, uh, I'm not super worried about it. If it was a Wolverine, that would be a concern, but I feel like a Wolverine would leave Bigger paw tracks than that. Um, steaming up here. By the way, I'm not anti-firearm. In fact, I've I've had a possession and acquisition license. You need that in Canada. You know, you, you need to have a license to own a firearm. Yeah, I uh, I let mine expire, uh, unfortunately. So I'm not anti-gun. I just haven't renewed it. Meantime, you know, I've been out here so many times and just comfortable. So whatever the animal is, um, I'm hoping it's a fox or a coyote, believe it or not. I would rather it be something like that than a wolverine or a marten. Um, I don't want to have an encounter with a marten or a wolverine, 
um, especially if they smell food they might really just want to go for it and not give a crap about who I am whereas a coyote I don't think a coyote is ever going to try to get in here nor will a fox now interestingly enough the last time I was here I mentioned the tracks these tracks are very fresh and um, a few of you said that a fox walks in a straight line so the way that you could see the tracks are kind of like circling and whatnot indicates it, it might be a coyote so there's a good chance there's a coyote just like watching me right now out in the woods and i'm not really that intimidated um it's it's an interesting feeling i feel safe in here i feel protected in here and i just feel like whatever it is is not going to want to mess with me i never open that tent door and leave with fear i never do i open that tent door and i leave confident right and um it's a great feeling and that came with time so am i afraid of wildlife um i don't want an encounter with a wolf or a coyote um i definitely do not i don't want an encounter with a wolverine a hundred percent in fact i wouldn't want an angry squirrel <laughs> coming at me <laughs> or or an angry muskrat or an angry whatever you know name it animals i don't want a territorial angry animal uh scrapping with me for sure and uh but i feel like that's just i feel so comfortable and hearing about attacks like that are very rare i don't want you guys to think that i'm careless or anything like that but the reality is i'm very comfortable and it took a long time for me to get the guts to come out here by myself and to camp by myself in the wild right uh in a remote location deep in the woods where i'm alone um and surrounded by animals like no knowing there's animals out around it took a long time for me to get the courage to do it and then i just started going for it and the comfort just started coming and coming and coming and you know the first sleepover took a bit for me to get the courage to do that that was like four or five years ago and after i did i was like man that was not bad at all i actually felt pretty darn good and then i just wanted to do it more and more and more and now it's just like okay i want to be out there
two hamburgers and some really crispy, thin potato wedges that are almost like potato chips. All I know is if there is an animal out there, <laughs> he, he wants this. He wants it. For sure. And I got the door open because it got smoky in here. Cooking on the stove, you can't really control it as well as um, cooking on the, the propane stove. So the wood stove, the oil will splatter and then you're going to have that oil kind of burn off on top of the wood stove. And it smokes. So it's smoky in here. And uh, I... Uh, I need the door open or else I'm just going to smoke myself out a bit. Although I think it's cleared up quite a bit now. Man, oh man, this looks amazing. If I eat all of this, I won't need anything else until tomorrow around lunch. Mm. Oh my gosh. Those are insanely good. Okay. Nothing special about the burger. Just took a half a pound of meat straight out of the package, threw it on the pan, cut it in half. That is it. I got some back eddy seasoning on there. That's this right here. This comes from the Northwest Territories in Canada from a small restaurant. Very popular around here. It's a great seasoning salt. And then I put a little bit of Montreal steak spice on top of it. Some extra old cheddar cheese, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. Man, oh man, you've got yourself a sandwich. Currently 23 degrees Celsius in here. That's like 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's beautiful in here. Actually, it's a bit too warm. I'm gonna go outside for a bit. And currently outside, it's minus 23 degrees Celsius. So that's like minus 10 Fahrenheit. So yeah, man, it's a nice difference between the inside and the outside of the tent. And this temperature out here is actually just really, really comfortable and lovely. Well, this is the moment I've been waiting for all week. It's Friday night and the tent is all cleaned up. My work week is over and I can just relax now in this, this tent that's super tidy. I love cleaning it all up before I can sit down and take my break and, and have my rest. I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm planning on spending a bit of time here tomorrow. So yeah, we'll pick it up from there. sleep last night a really 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 good sleep I went to bed at midnight and then at 5 30 I 
reloaded the stove. It had quite a good bed of coals in there. And so then I just topped it up. And I've been kind of like lying around for the last 45 minutes, just staying nice and warm in my sleeping bag. I let the temperature really drop in this tent last night. Like I closed that stove way down. It was definitely below the freezing mark in here last night. I can see my breath right now. And, uh, and it's like, it's, <laughs> it's the best way to do it. It's the best way to do it. If you have a really good sleeping bag, let the temperature drop. You get so warm in your sleeping bag. And I'll sleep with my head like kind of like really tucked in. And if I start to feel I'm getting a bit too cold, I'll just put my, put my, like my mouth in like that. And then I'll really warm up. And then sometimes you get too warm and you've got to like take your head out and go, and then breathe some fresh air for a few hours. And then if I get too cold again, I just put my head back in. Yeah, I slept like eight, nine hours last night. Current temperature minus 25.
Man, that cast iron pan is amazing. Like I flipped those eggs with a fork and those eggs were just sliding around so nicely on that pan. Cannot beat it. I'm really enjoying cooking on it out here at camp. Anyway, this is just smoked sausages cut up. I was going to make a little omelet thing, but I decided to go with the fried eggs instead to see if I could do that trick with the cast iron pan and it worked. Oh yes. And I like my eggs a little bit runny and these are just creamy at this point. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, that's it, folks. I had a great time out here, and, and I felt great out here the whole entire night. Like, I feel safe, right? And I, I know I said it earlier, but I do, and, and I'm not scared. And I think if I was scared, then I'd probably be in trouble. I don't want to be out here just living scared. It's It wouldn't be a good place to be um, mentally, and there'd be no fun in that. So I'm out here just enjoying myself and uh, taking it all in. And, you know, minding my business and hopefully the animals mind their own business as well. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll be back really soon.